Hello everyone, this is Miss Rosario, Miss Rivas. Today we're going to do an art project, a full art project. So I hope you like it. I hope everybody's staying home, being safe, uh, and doing your work and everything. So this project is for you so you can relax, okay? It's nothing that you have to turn in for points or anything. It's just for you to to have a good time. So let's start. Common core standards, creative expression, creating, performing, and participating in the visual arts. Students apply artistic processes and skills using a variety of media to communicate meaning and intent in original artwork. Oh, let me take out. Okay, objective. Students will be able to compose an art piece using a variety of materials to accomplish a unique artwork. So this picture has a lot of examples and you see how they use uh, different colors that are contra contrast to each other. But also you can see that there's one that is all green for the students that like green. <laughs> So you can and do something similar, all right? So materials, we're going to use cardboard, aluminum foil, yarn, scissors, white glue, color markers, and a pencil. So we're going to use our pencil. We're going to draw some lines on the cardboard. Be creative, use as many lines as you want. Curvy, straight lines, zigzag lines, all the lines that you can imagine. Just put them in there. The more lines, the better. Next, trace the lines with the white glue. Like in the picture. And after you trace the lines with the white glue, grab your yarn and add it to the white, to the glue so you can start getting it. So follow the line with your yarn. So do this process little by little. So I will do two lines of white glue and then I put yarn and then again glue and then yarn. Otherwise you, you will get lost. Like, I don't know if this line goes this way or that way. You know what I mean? Add this yarn little by little. When you are done with each line, cut the yarn and begin another one. That's the best way to do this part of it. Otherwise, you're going to get lost. Like, oh, I don't know if this line goes first. So do one yarn at a time. And then cut it. So do all that process for the line. And if you have some, a lot of lines that's gonna look better. And after you're done with this, let it dry for an hour. Now, once it is dry, you're going to measure the foil for your project. Like in the picture, I measure my foil because I need uh, to know that is going to fit. And then I will apply white glue in between the yarn because I want the foil to get to get glue in the surface. Okay? Now this is a very delicate process. Press the foil very gently with your fingers to have the shape of the yarn. So use do this process very, very carefully because I don't want you to break the foil. And once that you're done with all the yarn, secure the back with tape. Now it's time to color. Please take your time and enjoy coloring. So, you can use as many colors as you want, or if you want, if you like only one color, like green, use two, three types of green, or green and yellow, 
that's a good option. So take your time, don't rush. And remember, this is for you to be um, distressed, to be calm. And ta-da, this is the last piece. So, I hope you enjoyed this project. Remember, it's just for you to have fun. And you can take a picture of it once you're done. So we can put a gallery. Um, but remember, it's for you to be calm, okay? So don't feel stressed out because you have something else to do. It's just for fun. Meanwhile, stay safe, stay healthy, stay positive, guys. And um, help out at home, all right? Don't be playing games the whole day. So, see you. Bye, guys.